Hi folks, this is Travis Fox here with FoxOptic.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the nuke or non-uniformity uh, correction on your Pulsar Trail or Helion device. Uh, in order to force a nuke on any of the devices, you're going to hit the power button. So in the case of the Trail, it's this button right here. And or in the case of the Helion, it is this button right here. So essentially what the nuke uh, function does is it does a calibration on your device uh, when you're nuking that and that shutter's dropping in uh, in either the manual or excuse me sem semi-automatic or automatic mode the shutter is dropping in and the sensor is focusing on a known emission source to where it knows that all the feedback should be exactly the same so it's looking for any outlying feedback and essentially calibrating for that uh, resetting everything to be one so in, in the manual mode essentially does the same thing just you'd have to have the shutter you know you, the shutter's not dropping in in manual mode so you either have to have the lens cap closed or you have to use the palm of your hand if you're using the palm of your hand make sure that your uh, skin is not coming in contact with the lens that can goof with the calibration of the unit also know that if you're in manual mode and you don't get it closed off that you're going to get some partial ghosting or ghost imaging uh, that can quickly be resolved by doing a proper nuke on it uh, but let's take a look inside of the stream vision application and the menu and so in order to do that i'm going to do a long press on the square button which is going to open up the big menu inside of that uh, main menu uh, we're going to see the calibration mode settings right here and we have a choice of manual semi-automatic or automatic uh, the automatic mode is going to wait the device itself is going to do the calibration whenever it senses that the lines are starting to occur inside the de uh, device it's going to give you a little counter in the lower corner of the screen there that shows a three two one countdown uh, prior to a nuke being performed this is in case uh, you're videoing or getting ready to take a shot it's going to give you a heads up uh, prior to that nuke taking place because it's going to essentially freeze the screen for about two and a half seconds when that occurs uh, for that reason I strongly recommend running in the semi-automatic mode. Uh, this gives you the ability to nuke it whenever you want by simply pressing your power button. The shutter will drop in, uh, the nuke will take place, and you can pick and choose when you want that to happen. Uh, the primary function of the manual setting would be about the only real big place I could see that being used is if you did have some kind of mechanical failure in your device or you know, you, you, until you could get it serviced. Uh, it would give you the ability to, to manually nuke if the uh, little electromagnetic uh, shutter had some kind of failure. But to be quite honest with you, I've never seen that fail. Um, you know, but, it, but it would give you a way to actually perform that in a worst case scenario. So I hope that clears up uh, you know, what your different options are when it comes to the nuke and how, what the nuke function is actually performing. If you have any questions, be sure to give me a call toll-free 877-806-2977 or check us out on the web www.foxoptic.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.